Hello and welcome to FourCornersTV.com. I'm Simone Bryan and this is the Local Roundup. All of us should know that today is more than just Veterans Day. It's an important day to say thank you. To the many men and women who chose to lay down their life in the service of another, lend an extra hand today and say thank you to those who served our country and protected our rights. Thank you to my grandma and grandpa and my uncles. To keep the holiday in high spirits, learn a little bit more about Navy SEALs and their courageous feet. The documentary was made by a local Durango resident and it is called Navy SEALs, Their Untold Story. It airs tonight on PBS at 8 p.m. But now that Colorado has a divided legislature, what can we expect? Fracking, which suggests ways to give cities more control over drilling in their communities. Better packaging labels on edibles in the marijuana world so products can't be confused with regular food. Recreational pot taxes and reimbursement to taxpayers. And a repeal on expanded background checks or a limit on ammunition magazines for firearms. Our city is representing the red, white, and blue by now charging green. After public comments and city council votes were made, it has now been decided that the trolley ride will only cost a buck starting next year. The vote was four to one as the majority of the council said one dollar was necessary. The one dollar fare is expected to bring in $259,000. Transferring passengers will not have to pay an extra fee. But the buck doesn't stop there. The solution to expand the Durango La Plata County Airport is no cheap bet. Options include expanding the current terminal or rebuild the terminal and the entire infrastructure on the east side of the runway. Depending on the final decisions made, costs could run about 130 to 140 million dollars. Counselors will probably decide which option to choose by February. As we're sitting down here in the upper 50s, Denver is getting slapped in the face with highs in the lower 20s. With winter still about a month away, temperatures will be dropping as low as 40 degrees below average for some states, including Northeast Colorado. But don't be discouraged, Durango. Snow is expected to come our way Saturday. The weather may be getting frigid, but this band is heating up the music scene in Durango. Today on In the Neighborhood, a local bluegrass band comprised of four middle school teachers and a biologist with a PhD are creating great music and opening for some big name bands. That's today at 3 p.m. only on FourCornersTV.com. Thanks for watching the local roundup here on FourCornersTV.com. I'm Simone Bryant and we'll see you tomorrow.